Welcome to the brilliant tapestry of Los Angeles, a place that thrives on individuality, plurality, and unending creativity. Sure, you can head to famous landmarks like the Santa Monica Pier and Hollywood's Walk of Fame, but that's not the way to go if you want to experience the City of Angels like a true local. There are plenty of things to do in Los Angeles, but unless you're an Angelino, you will not be able to see them all. Nonetheless, if it's your first experience in this city, we're assured you're on the hunt for a guide that can offer you a fresh perspective on the top sites and best places to stop by throughout your trip. So let's get things started. Number 10, Descanso Gardens. Spanning an astounding 150 acres, this botanical center is alive with color and tradition. With various blooms all through the year, families can come back here multiple times and always see a fresh discovery. Take a stroll over the popular Red Bridge and take some time to gaze upon the impressive array of plants. Snap as many pictures as your smartphone will allow and take advantage of the lovely LA weather, which naturally helps the desert vegetation thrive. The tranquil Japanese garden is where you'll find plants native to the Asian continent, as well as a tea house. The Camellia Collection, on the other hand, holds North America's biggest Camellia plant collection. There's also the Oak Forest, which has trees that are generations old. You can find many more idyllic locations in Los Angeles, so don't sacrifice this one for anything else. On top of that, don't be surprised if you come across animals here. Although most do their best to remain out of sight, you will likely catch sight of numerous insects and reptiles. Number 9. Venice Beach what makes Venice Beach special is its acknowledgement of independence and inclusiveness. There's a likelihood that you'll run into a local who rides his bicycle all day with his buzzing boombox while also seeing con artists and street performers displaying their crafts on the boardwalk. If you visit during the weekend, be sure to stick around until the end of daylight for the celebrated drum circle. Hundreds of musicians will line up with their drums, congas, and a variety of percussion gear to have a jam session. Once the music starts playing, let your body loose and enjoy the vibe of the shared festivities. Number 8. Broadway Theater District Stretching for six blocks in downtown Los Angeles, the famous Broadway Theater District includes some of the oldest and longest standing movie theaters in the city. At the height of its glory, the neon-drenched region had the greatest number of cinemas in the entire world. Measures by the Los Angeles Conservancy, the Bringing Back Broadway initiative have brought back many of these performance houses to their authentic splendor. Today's generations of Angelinos can now encounter live performances and arts festivals at these wonderful venues. The theater at the Ace Hotel is a must visit when you come to this district. The gorgeous 1600 seat movie house can be found on the third floor of the building and is once more showing motion pictures, whether they're fresh releases or nostalgic picks. Number 7. The Broad Located on Grand Avenue, The Broad is a modern art museum developed by Diller's Gafidio. It's home to almost 2,000 pieces of art, making it one of the planet's leading collections of contemporary art. The good news is that getting into The Broad is free of charge and tickets can be reserved at its official website. However, due to overwhelming prominence and the simple fact that it's free, you'll probably find a line encircling the building. According to their webpage, the wait time at the on-site ticket line is up to 45 minutes on a normal weekday. Also, there are no meals or beverages allowed inside, therefore make sure you have them early on. Number 6. No Vacancy For those in search of a bar that's a little out of the usual, No Vacancy in Hollywood represents a one-of-a-kind experience. The speakeasy-style tavern guides you right back to the Prohibition period with a dimly lit and antique layout. For those who are new here, this spot will be a thing you can talk about for quite a while. Keep in mind that No Vacancy takes its speakeasiness very seriously and in the most appropriate way possible. There are specific things about this particular location that must stay secret until your arrival, such as the doorway and a lot of other things it entails. The service staff at No Vacancy are experienced mixologists. They make cocktails that pay tribute to their favorite drinks from the speakeasy era, if you're unsure of where to begin, the gin-packed China Doll is an attractive option. Of course, there's an extensive list of other drinks that are meant to honor the Prohibition time. Number 5. Rodeo Drive Rodeo Drive has become one of the most prominent shopping destinations recognized for its luxury shopping and high-end restaurants. It's home to many high-end names in designer style and jewelry. 
Even if you don't have the cash to shop in this area, it's still worth a stop during a visit to Beverly Hills. In this place, you can find the Walk of Style, which commemorates fashion legends for what they've done for the industry. Recipients are given recognition with a long-lasting plaque containing their unique signature and set into the street surface of Rodeo Drive as an eternal reminder to each honoree. Number 4. Echo Park Lake Echo Park is a colorful and low-key community in central Los Angeles. It's an underrated treasure that commonly gets passed over by the hipster next-door neighbor Silver Lake. This region is completely accessible by foot and home to many thriving creators, journalists, and musicians. One of the first objects that catch your eye as you enter this place is the vibrant mural welcoming you. Walk around a little to discover the Time Travel Mart, which sells everything you need for a trip back in time, like locally sourced dinosaur eggs and Viking perfumes. Number 3. Grand Central Market The thought of visiting Grand Central Market could feel like a drag. The vacationers, the long waits, and the rushed experience when you eat your taco, all of these are not exactly what you anticipated for your Saturday morning. The thing is, the food at Grand Central Market makes it hard not to include this place in any visitor's bucket list. The Sorry Sorry Stone, for example, is the kind of place that makes you feel excited for lunch. Shiku is another spot that serves a good array of known comfort meals. Ultimately, this is the place where countless people from a variety of walks of life come to interact with both old and new buddies. You can also go shopping for the best deals in town or just get a yummy scoop of creamy goodness on a bright California afternoon here. Number 2. Griffith Observatory the Griffith Observatory is an icon of the largest urban parks in the United States that offers those who visit stunning vistas of the city, and a trip to this place will take you on a journey to learn about space and experience how mankind observes the undiscovered. The observatory has an area for parking, but nonetheless it's rather tiny, so to avoid the stress of trying to find a spot to park, it's best to use the Dash Shuttle that arrives regularly at the complex starting from the iconic Sunset Station. Number 1. The Getty Center Located in the Brentwood area, you can easily spend an entire day enjoying whatever the Getty Center has to offer. Explore the complex for its diverse collection of art, including masterpieces from Renoir and Monet. Aside from the artwork, the main catches here include the outstanding architecture. If the weather permits, you should try relaxing on a picnic chair on the grass close to the building while taking in the extraordinary vistas. Stop by the Courtyard Coffee Cart, which offers plenty of beverage choices plus an extensive variety of pastries. The Takeaway We could just list all of the incredible golden beaches in LA and call that a day, but it's what this guide is meant to be. There's such an abundance of eye-catching places in this city, and because we know beauty's in the eye of the beholder, we tried to include a wide range of Los Angeles attractions in this list. All in all, Los Angeles is a destination that knows how to treat those who visit. You'll find something that appeals to just about everyone here. These top 10 places previously mentioned are all entrances into the different elements of the city's lively personality. And even if you have limited time for a taste of this remarkable city, you'll find yourself wanting more of it. If you want to know the better eateries in Los Angeles as well, check out the video on the top right corner being displayed on your screen right now. We'll see you in the next video.